Good evening. I think we're live. I'm going to pull it up on Facebook and make sure, but um, as you hop on, let us know you're here. Let me see if I can get it pulled up on mine so I can help Ed hopefully watch comments. And happy Monday. I hope y'all had a great weekend. Yep, there we are. Okay, that looked like it said we'd been live for 18 minutes. <laughs> I don't think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Hi, ladies. Hi, Barbara, Ann, Karen. Boy, y'all right on time today. And uh, hopefully it's because you want to win this dish towel. There I said the W word, and I probably was not supposed to, but you know what? Oh well. I, I love giving things away, and here we call them a blessing gift. And um, what we do, for those of you that may be new, or if you're just watching this replay and you're new, I, I change things up. This month we're doing something every week, and we draw names on Monday, which means we're going to be drawing today everybody who put in the mystery word in my two lives last week. By the way, I am Julie. This is Creations by Julie. Ed is behind the camera again, and hopefully we'll catch your questions if you have any uh, during this live, and we'll answer them. But be sure and tell us, especially if you're new, so we can give you a proper welcome. And I have a great group of ladies here, and they want to welcome you too. But uh, the way you get your name in our little mystery bag, not mystery bag, our blessing bag, is for this month, every week, it's a new word. And you just do hashtag and whatever the word is, I tell you. And I, we start on Mondays and Thursdays. You, are, you can enter even if you're watching the replay um, because then you just put it in the comments. Usually on Monday mornings, I go back through the two lives Take everybody's name who has said hashtag mystery word, put your name in the bag, and then we will draw. Last week, uh, this week it's for the uh, flag dish towel. It's a very large dish towel, as you can see. You can use it for a dish towel, uh, or you can do a pillow with it like I showed you last week. Last Monday, go back and look at the live, and we made a really cute pillow with this dish towel. But you can just use it as a dish towel if you want to. So, uh, let's go ahead and that's the first thing we're going to do tonight. And then we're going to be working with Magnolia Design Stencils tonight. This is Monday. We haven't done a Magnolia Monday in a while. So let me reach in here and really push the names around. I'll have to have my glasses on to read whose name is pulled out this week. Thank you, Carrie, for sprinkling. Pat Powers. Pat. Pat lives in Alabama. Uh, I will be sending this out to you and you can either make a cute pillow, use it for your crafting, or just use it as a dish towel with the holidays coming up. So um, I, had, I know I have Pat's address. Uh, she's married to my cousin. So um, congratulations, Pat. Okay, now tonight we're going to be inking on a um, t-shirt and I'm going to use this stencil from Magnolia Design. Let me pull it out so you can look at it. It's a patriotic stencil. They have many patriotic things but this one says uh, land of the free home of the brave and I'm going to use three different colors on it tonight and so I just picked up a gray t-shirt for our uh, blessing this week. I, I, there's certain words Facebook doesn't want you to say and I had trouble not saying them. Um, <laughs> what does that say about you? Yeah, really. Th I'm going to give away this stencil. This is a really neat, uh, it's got the Pledge of Allegiance on it. Uh, you could put it on a canvas, you could put it on a pillow. Uh, it probably would fit on a dish towel, uh, but this is what I'm going to be blessing someone with next Monday. So, Put hashtag stencil. Stencil is going to be our magic word. Uh, every time you put hashtag stencil, your name will go in our blessing bag. You can do it as many times as you want to. 
uh, it'll be for tonight's live and my live on Thursday night also. We're also going to be using a stencil on Thursday night and do actually a really cute um, wooden piece that's the um, United States that I found at Target. So anyway, this is what we're going to work on tonight. If you're not familiar with Magnolia Designs, it is a company that sells um, reusable stencils. Um, they're like a silk screen. They're sticky, so they stick to things real easy. And then you take the chalk paste or ink. If you're doing fabric or glass, you need to use the ink so that you can heat set it and make it permanent. Um, but anything else, you can use the chalk paste. They sell the ink, they sell chalk paste, they sell stencil um, cleaner, they sell um, surfaces. You don't have to use their surface, you can use any surface. I picked up this um, t shirt at Hobby Lobby for like $2.99, you know, and that's pretty much the ones I use just to. Uh, demonstrate on and wear around the house and stuff like that. But you like that's what you got on. It probably is. Let's see what, I think this is the, uh, yeah, this is the Waymaker stencil that I had done on this one. It's probably the exact same shirt. Maybe a size smaller. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I might have gone with a larger one this time. But, uh, in order to use on t-shirt, I'm going to use this sticky pad. It's from Magnolia, but you don't have to have this to do on a shirt. It just uh, helps make it a little firmer surface. You can put a piece of cardboard, but you want to put something between your fabric. So I'm just going to kind of put this in the middle here. Judy Crafton says hello. Hi, Judy. Thank you for being here. All right, let's get this up in here. And then I'll figure out where the middle to my shirt is. When you're doing a t-shirt, you want to, of course, make sure you have the center of your shirt and you can usually figure um, the tag is the center and you want to come down. You see how it just, it flattens the shirt. If you've got something sticky under there, it kind of flattens that shirt like that. Makes it easier for your chalk paste. Let's see, there's my thing right there. And you want to come down about a, a handprint. So I am going, let me make sure this covers the whole thing. Let me find the other end. I may need to move it over a little. I think I do. After all that straightening. <laughs> In fact, I really should turn it the other way because the stencil runs. So we're just going to move this underneath here and do all this again. But you want to come down about a hand's length before you start your stenciling from the neck on. So I'm going to come down with this just a little bit. But like I said, if you just get you a piece of cardboard, it's, it'll just keep the it from bleeding to the other side, your ink. And put the sticky. Kind the of sticky problem. really helps, I think, right? That's kind of in the center. And get out any, any wrinkles. All right, see, I can feel it's right there and right there. So that's pretty much centered. And it even starts down. I want to come down a little bit more. Now, when you, with the Magnolia, by the way, I put my link for Magnolia design my website up there if you want to go check it out and see all the things they have they have a ton of inspirational st um, stencils and that's why i loved it and went with them rather than one of the other companies um, if you're interested in becoming a creator with them just message me and i can give you the info or you can read about it on the website you do get a 35 percent off anything you purchase once you become a creator and um the great thing about Magnolia Designs is they don't have a lot of rules. They basically have no rules. You can sell it uh, any way you want to sell it. You can do craft shows with it. You can do um, parties in your home with it and have people buy stencils. The only thing you cannot do is like take their name, like I can't take their name off their product and try to sell it as my own. 
I can sell it as one of their products. I have some kits in my Etsy shop um, if you just want to try it out. Magnolia also has DIY kits that are fantastic. So there's a lot of different ways, but if you have any questions about them, um, just email me or PM me. Now, you remember I told you these were sticky. First thing you want to do when you take it out is mark the back of it. This one I just put an X, so I've, I've already used this one. Probably a time or two. And um, you do not have to fuzz it if you're using fabric. If I was putting this on something painted, I would want to use our fuzzing cloth and fuzz it so that it wouldn't stick so hard that um, it pulled up your paint or stretch your stencil if you were using it on glass or something. But since it's fabric, I don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna try to center it then press it. Yeah, right. Make sure there's no bubbles in it. Bubbles will cause your ink to bleed. And I'm gonna do this in three colors, and I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to do, even doing it in three colors. I've got my pan of water over here. Um, the hardest thing is kind of like deciding how you want to do it. You could definitely do it all one color. But I'm going to do the writing in white, the stars in blue, and then my stripes are going to be red. I don't like a white t-shirt, which is why I didn't buy a white t-shirt. White t-shirt would be perfect because then you have your white stripes. Here, I'm going to have gray stripes, but that's okay. All right, now I picked up the, the ink. You know it's ink because the top is white. Our paste, the top is black. And I had already stirred this earlier. I'm gonna try not to lay paper down. I told y'all I'm a messy crafter, but I'm gonna try to see if I can't do this without trying to protect the shirt. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> he knows I'm messy. Okay. I don't know, if can you see the, the ink and see the consistency of it. It's kind of like uh, yogurt, but it's, it's not going to take a whole lot of this blue. So uh, you just, anytime you open it, you want to stir it. And that's going to take a little bit and put right here on the stars. And I'm going to try not to get it on anything else. But I'm going to kind of close that up. So then I'm just going to take my squeegee and I only want to cover the stars. You do not have to push real hard. And you want to cover everywhere. Since my material underneath it is gray, I'm going to try to cover everything that's where I see the gray. Because that's where your ink is going through. And it's just now the blue may stain my stencil just a tad, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt the stencil as long as when you wash it and you clean it, you clean all these areas out uh, that they're see-through. Okay, I think, and then I'm just gonna go back over it, get any excess. All right, so that's my blue. So I'm gonna put that away. See, I already got blue on my hands. So I'm gonna close up my blue ink so it doesn't get. All right, now I'm going to do the white. And I can see, my t-shirt's trying to slide down. Uh, you just wanna make sure that you don't have ink on your hands. And I'm just using a baby wipe to get this off. Well, it's, it's stuck. I think the whole thing, it, I mean, it's stuck down. All right, so now, here where it says land of the free, the bottom of my F is very close to where I want the red stripe. So I'm just gonna take a little piece of masking tape and put right there at the bottom of that F. And I may have to stand up to really see this because I don't want to get white in there. 
And I believe all this is far enough apart. So I'm gonna open my white. See, this is usually where I lay some paper here, just in case. Because of the ink, once you get it on this shirt, it's there. It, it, this is not as forgiving as the paste in working with wood. Okay, so I'm gonna take another squeegee and I'm gonna go just where the writing is. Try not to run off the stencil. This gives me plenty of room though that I shouldn't run off the stencil or pick up any of that blue. You don't have to work quite as fast with the ink as you do with the chalk. It doesn't dry quite as fast. And the reason for working, when you're working with several colors, the reason you'd want to work a little fast is because you don't want this drying in your stencil. Okay, I think I've got all of that. And I actually did it without picking up any of that blue. Now I'm going to go do the bottom one. I mainly, you know, started my business doing wreaths and about a year ago decided I needed to add to my Etsy shop some different things, different prices and some home decor. And so I started shopping around about making my own signs for my wreaths and came across Magnolia Designs and started doing some home decor items. And I, I love working with them. They're a fantastic company. There's no pressure. Uh, I pretty much just wanted to do it, to buy my own stuff and get a discount on my what I purchased. There's no quota. They don't push you. Uh, there's no pressure to sell. You can just buy what you want to buy if that's what you want to do. Now, there are people that um, are doing very well and making money every month. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Okay, now I'm going to move my tape. And I probably should kind of put it right there. That might pull up my white just a little bit. But I don't want my red going into my, my white. Okay, so now I'm gonna open the red and finish this off. Then we'll pull it up. All right, you can see the consistency. The red's a little bit different than the, than the blue. I'm just gonna kind of take my time up here where there's three colors mixed. So far, I haven't dropped any on my shirt. <laughs> but, you know, if I do, that's okay. It's for me. I will wear it around the house. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I get all that up there. I mean, they're wavy lines anyway, so I guess it wouldn't be any big deal. And I'm going to start on this side and come across. And if I remember correctly, I'm thinking this stencil kind of has a, when you pull it up, it's kind of got a, what's the word, rustic, kind of a vintage feel to it anyway. It's kind of like it's a little bit older. Still crisp lines and stuff, but I think there's like um, spots in the flag that are meant to look older and vintage. Phyllis Brubaker says good evening everybody. Hi, Phyllis. Thank you for being here. Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to scrape off my extra. 
put my squeegee over here, close up the sink, and now I have red on them. So I'm just going to take another baby wipe and make sure my fingers are clean. Pull that little piece of tape off. I don't want to touch my stencil or my shirt if I happen to have ink on my hands. All right, let's see what we've got. You want to grab a corner and get it started. You either want to come across, you don't want to do this, it's a fairly large stencil, so if I tried to do it this way, I might stretch it. So what I want to do is kind of come across and do it a little at a time. That way, if there's anything I missed, I can lay it right back down. And I wanna kinda of pull it from the center. And check my lettering. All right, I see a little bit of that red on the flag, but I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm not too sure all the lines in the flag aren't a little wonky looking. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put this in my, in my water over here. If I was not on a live, I would take it straight to the sink and run it under water and clean it to make sure none of the colors were in the opening. But um, I'm not, so... It's not quite dry yet, but I'm gonna take it and kind of turn it around for you can see. It's very colorful, isn't it? See, right, I don't know if you can see, but right up here, I missed a little bit of the top of that line, but Magnolia actually has like um, pencils, paste and ink pencils that if I wanted to, I could go back and fix that. Or if I had not put my squeegee in the water, I could have laid this back down and. It's just where I missed the line a little bit. It's probably where I had the tape. But I mean, it's that quick and simple. Now, what I do, I will pull this from the, um, I'm gonna give it a few minutes to dry. In fact, let me just run a little bit, just to make sure everything's dry. Um, you heat set this by taking your iron and taking a piece of um, parchment paper and just laying over the top. You want something in between. And um, for about four minutes, you leave your iron on it for about four minutes. That will heat set it where you can wash it and put it in the dryer. But I don't usually do that until like the next day. Like I will take this and just hang it over a chair and give it a whole day to really dry. And then I heat set my stuff. I don't do it the same day I make them. And then you'd wanna turn the shirt wrong side out and do the same thing on the back side. And that's, how, that's just how quick and easy it is. Uh, your prep work takes the longest, just kinda of making sure that you get it in the center and I think I did a pretty good job of getting it in the center, right? Mm -hmm. Looks, Looks like, like it. So that, that's how quick and easy it is. You can do onesies, you can do dish towels, you can do anything. I mean, like you could just put this on a piece of material and then put the material on a board and make home decor. I mean, uh, these stencils can be used for uh, the ink, the, and you use the same stencil whether you're using ink or whether you're using the chalk paste. You can, I don't know if you've ever heard of the stuff, uh, etching cream. I mean, you can, some of the smaller stencils, you can etch on glasses and stuff. Um, I have something called, um, is it? It's um, a cream, and I can't remember the name of it. I'm gonna have to show y'all how to do it one day. The only thing is you have to use a heat gun on a high setting, it burns the wood. Um, is it torchy paste or something like that? But you can use that on these stencils. I have done it with small one. Uh, it just takes a little while holding that heat gun for it to burn through on that wood. But you use the same stencils, it does not hurt them. The etching cream does not hurt them. 
Uh, you can use them up to, I don't know, 15, 20 times. But um, you probably got some that's got more. Now. I, I do. I have some that I use over and over and over and over. Um, and the only thing is, you know, they, they get to where they're not quite as sticky on the back. But um, I was going to see if this, I see this, this is ink, and the blue probably is going to stain. Um, Magnolia does sell a little, it's almost like a Mr. Clean cloth that will help get some of that off. Um, but when I'm done, I will take it. But what you do is you just run it under water and you just take your hands and wipe that ink or chalk paste off. You want to make sure it's not inside the stencil on any of those clear spots that you can see through. If it stains the outside of it, it doesn't hurt it at all. But then you want to take it, after you've washed it and wiped it down, take it and put the sticky side up on a towel and take a Clorox, not a baby wipe, but a Clorox, some sort of disinfectant wipe, it doesn't have to be Clorox, but um, a disinfectant wipe, and then you wipe the back of it. That kind of pulls up the fuzz that you had put on it, but it also reactivates the sticky. You leave it laying there, let it dry really well, put it back on your backing sheet, which is why you mark the back of it, so you want to put it on the shiny side, but I always forget, so I mark the back, and then I know to put it on this side. Put it back in your thing and reuse it. Um, they have tons of stencils and they, like I said, they're coming out with more and more of the DIY kits. They also have a um, craft box that you pay $14, no, $19.99 and $5 shipping. Uh, when you sign up for it, you're committing to three months, but after three months, if you decide you don't like it, you drop it. But if you don't drop it, Every month, like today is what, the 23rd? Um, I don't like mine coming that late in the month. I fixed mine to where it renews on the first of every month. That way I get my kit fairly early in the month because I like to do it with y'all and show you the kit. But it's a box and it has everything in that box. It has the surface, it has the either ink or paste, beads, jute, anything and everything that you need to make that project that month. Uh, it's in that box, and it also has a an instruction sheet that gives you a little barcode that if you take your phone and you click on that, on your camera, the barcode, it takes you to a YouTube video showing you how to do the instructions. But, I mean, it's step-by-step -step instructions. None of them have been very hard, but they're really cute. They're really nice, um, and like I said, it's just $19.99 a month. It's a great way if you want to try your hand at Magnolia Design Stencils and see how you like them. Um, and I usually get my kit and do it on a Monday night, about the second week of the month usually. But um, anyway, that was it for tonight. Uh, congratulations again to Pat. Um, have you seen her on? She uh, probably will watch the replay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my sticky thing out now and I did y'all I bought a extra large shirt this time I like a big shirt around the house there again Magnolia sells this and they sell a bit a larger one also but you don't have to have that you just put cardboard in between it or just a couple of things of um, Judy Clapton says she loves the monthly box yeah I do too they had so far, they haven't come back out with the B, the one that they did two months ago when I gave the kit away. Um, they have the towels. You know, I can go in there and buy those yellow towels, but they haven't come back out with that stencil. So as soon as they do, if they do, I'm going to grab it. If not, you know, I'll get it some other time. All right, so that was our craft for tonight. Um, if you're new to Creations by Julie, like I said, I, I love making wreaths. But when I started this, my goal is to show you a craft of some sort or home decor that you can do in your home, and, but I don't want to take up two hours of your time, which, you know, it takes a while to make most wreaths. So what I try to do is get the biggest part of the wreath made, tell you how I did it, show you how I did it, and then finish it off. Um, but this week, we are, we're working with Magnolia Design tonight and Thursday night, too. But we will still be doing some wreaths later on. But I still have quite a few 
um, really cool patriotic decor to show you. So uh, join me back here at six o'clock central time Thursday and we're going to do another um, patriotic home decor. So thank y'all so much for joining me and I will see y'all Thursday at six. Bye.